Hello investors and welcome back to the channel. Now the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is now bigger than that of Google's parent company Alphabet. This story and more coming your way. Hello investors, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing for daily uh, crypto news updates and crypto price analysis, news that will actually help you in the valuation and analysis of your cryptocurrencies. And uh, in today's story, uh, the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies has now surpassed that of Google's parent company, Alphabet. Now, of course, earlier today, um, uh, uh, or rather right now, as I'm speaking, uh, the total market cap of um, cryptocurrencies has actually reached more than 1.7 trillion US dollars, whereas the Alphabet uh, closed at 1.4 trillion at the end of the trading session yesterday and of course uh, bitcoin which is the largest cryptocurrency also hit a new all-time high of uh, 58 more than 58,883 uh, us dollars because google which was founded back in 1992 uh, boosted a 92.4 percent share of the global search traffic and of course alphabet is the third most valuable public company in the us only behind amazon and apple and the company's market cap crossed $1 trillion last January. Now, uh, as reported, the total value of the cryptocurrency market cap achieved the same feat this January, and it is now up over 1,400% since the pandemic-driven market crash in March 2020. Now, back in 2010, uh, when Google was actually 12 years old, its market cap was sitting at just 200 billion US dollars. And uh, this actually can really show you uh, that cryptocurrencies are growing at a much faster pace than the tech giant. Now, of course, uh, and this is because today is just when uh, today is the time that um, uh, uh, today uh, cryptocurrencies are actually 12 years old and they have reached this total market cap of more than 1.7 trillion US dollars. Of course, for Bitcoin, uh, it has surpassed 1 trillion dollars already. So uh, in itself, it is racing to catch up with uh, uh, the Alphabet company itself. So yeah, that is what I thought I'd, t I'd send it to you. And uh, uh, on another news, uh, this Tuesday, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis President James Bullard actually recognized Bitcoin as a rival to gold. And of course, in its own words, uh, Bullard said it uh, had categorized it as a rival to gold and it's a good way to think about it. Now, of course, at the same time, Bullard rejected the idea uh, that Bitcoin competing uh, will be competing with the US dollar. And uh, he actually said that, that can't be possible since it is very hard for a private cryptocurrency to perform its role. And uh, of course, in his own words, he said, you do not want to go with a non-uniform currency when you walk into a Starbucks and maybe you'll pay with Ethereum. Maybe you'll pay with Ripple. Maybe you'll pay with Bitcoin or even maybe you'll pay with a dollar. That isn't how we do this. That was his, that, those are his own words and I think he has a point. It's very hard to go against this private um, uh, fiat uh, or currencies because then you will have lots of uh, options and that is not uh, what um, you would want in your currency. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think uh, about this. But uh, yeah, going back to Bullard, he also uh, acknowledged that uh, there is an underlying currency competition, of course, with investors flocking to act actually uh, traditional, uh, uh, with investors flocking to traditional safe havens such as the Japanese yen. Of course, despite predicting that the U.S. might see a roaring economy after the pandemic. Uh, Bullard made it very clear that the Fed was not anywhere near dialing back its support. Bullard also signaled that the central bank had no plans to reduce asset purchases, which is actually believed to be a bullish sign for the crypto community. Now, speaking of Bitcoin's ascent to the 50,000 Bullard that is saying, uh, actually, Bitcoin's performance will not affect the Fed's monetary policy that is what he thinks so yeah uh, that is what i have for you uh thank you very much for watching but uh, uh looking at the prices of uh cryptocurrencies today 
the global cri uh, crypto market cap is currently at 1.71 trillion US dollars. It is up 0.63% increase over the last day. And of course, the total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is 151.78 billion US dollars, which makes a 15.36% decrease. And uh, when you look at the total volume in uh, DeFi, well, the total volume in the decentralized finance is currently 13.57 billion US dollars. 8.9% of the total crypto market in the past 24 hour volume. Now, also, the volume of all stable coins is now 117.05 billion US dollars, which is 77.12% of the total crypto market in the 24 hour volume. Now, Bitcoin's price is currently 56,433 US dollars and 32 cents. While Bitcoin's dominance is currently 61%, which is a decrease of 0.03% in the past 24 hours. Now, uh, yeah, as I said, the price of Bitcoin is 56,542. Uh, uh, the total uh, market cap of Bitcoin is 1.05 trillion US dollars. Ethereum holds uh, the second spot with a price of 1,865. US dollars and 11 cents it is down 2.6% in the day but it is up it has increased 7.75% in the past week the total uh, market cap of ethereum is 215.9 billion US dollars binance coin has surged up to the third spot in the market cap rank it ha uh, it is a uh, it has a price of uh, binance coin has a price of 271 US dollars and 20 cents. It is up 6.14% in the day and it is also up 113% in the week. The total market cap of Binance Coin is 42.7 billion US dollars. The fourth spot is held by Polkadot. It has a price of 37.8 uh, US dollars and uh, Polkadot has uh, decreased 1% in the last 24 hours but it is up 45% in the week. A tether holds the fifth spot. A tether is a stable coin, so it has only a price of one dollar, but uh, it or oh, it holds a total market cap of more than thirty-four billion US dollars. Cardano is sixth. Uh, it has reached a one dollar mark. XRP is uh, seventh with fifty-eight uh, cents in the price, and Litecoin is eighth. So yeah, that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've reached this far, please do consider subscribing. And until the next update, bye-bye.